When a scan shows a liver tumor, most people say, let's operate now and get it out. But while this instinct is understandable, rushing into surgery, especially for liver cancer, can sometimes do more harm than good. Hi, I'm Dr. Sanket Mehta, surgical oncologist from SSO Cancer Center. Let me explain why timing and planning are critical. The liver is a complex organ. It has a dual blood supply, delicate structure, and a unique ability to regenerate. But it's also vulnerable, especially in patients who have got cirrhosis, hepatitis, or damage from past illness. So before we operate, we don't just look at the tumor. We ask certain key questions like, how well is the liver functioning overall? Is there any hidden disease elsewhere? And most importantly, how much liver will remain after surgery? This is called as future liver remnant or FLR, the amount of liver that needs to be left behind for you to recover safely. If the FLR is too small, we might first do something called as portal vein embolization or PVE, a procedure that redirects the blood flow to the healthier side of the liver, causing it to grow while the tumor bearing area shrinks. Sometimes we use other stage strategies like giving systemic therapy first to shrink the tumor. We then wait and watch to see how the disease behaves and only then move into surgery when the biology looks favorable. This approach helps us prevent liver failure, improve outcomes, and in some cases, avoid unnecessary surgery altogether. So remember, liver surgery isn't a race. It's a carefully timed plan designed to maximize safety and long term control. If someone you care about is facing liver cancer, please help them understand. It's not about delay. It's about doing things in the right sequence with the right liver strategy. And if this helped you, share it with someone who needs clarity before they go under the knife.